Welcome back to an episode of We and right in front of Kim Ji Hoon yet again. And he is probably all about, well, we kind of know this because we can look at this and uh, it uh, tells us exactly what our little mission will be all about. So, what is this one? So, if the mystery is Sleepy Tallow, mm -hmm. which is this thing, right? Uh, why Sleepy Tallow? Wait a minute. It's one of those creepy areas. What was it? Uh,. Maybe it was... Yeah, that's the one. For some reason, this is Rattlevine Ridge, and the Sleepy Tallow thing is one of those icon areas. Uh, and this one is Ectoplasm, mm -hmm. Haunting Sleepy Tallow, mm -hmm. yet again. So, um, you can kind of combine those missions if you just look at them. So... Yeah, let, let's let's do something really interesting. Let's just combine those missions. I said I want to finish uh, that, but going back and forth between the same places is a wee bit weird. Look at that, that's a nice lighthouse there. Pretty neat. So, it's, um, yeah, what are those missions all about? This one is obtain samples of ectoplasm from the Ebony Hawk Femgeist uh, Haunting Sleepy Tallow. Talk to Artificer Kim in the first light settlement when the task is complete. Good. And this is to solve the mystery of Sleepy Tallow. Talk to Consul Oaks in the first light settlement when the task is complete. So, mm, this one and uh, this one. Let's combine them. I have spoken with the constable about our efforts. She is understandably skeptical, but mm -hmm. she fully supports us. Obviously. This could make a big difference. And I'm starting to think it will. Our experiments have yielded results. We have proven that whatever energies course through the veins of the lost, it is resistant to the corruption. Is it? But they are ghosts. You don't want to turn into ghosts. How can we put them to use? I have an idea. Ooh. The most potent forms of the Lost in First Light are the Famine Geists of Sleepy Tallow. The Geist's ectoplasm is just the thing. Get us some of that, and we'll use it to bolster the settlement's defenses. Oh, interesting. I kind of like the whole Famine Geist. <laughs> like Geist is ghost, uh, and Famine is like not having enough to eat, but I, the word Famine, I kind of <laughs> thought of it as like feminine, but no, this has nothing to do with it. All right, let's accept the mission and go towards uh, Sleepy Tallows again. Uh, but yeah, for everyone who really wants to know why this thing is called Sleepy Tallows, well, it's not Sleepy Tallows because it's Sleepy Tallows, but um, that's a movie and maybe also a series. Yeah, that's a movie and a series. Both of them are called Sleepy Hollow and it revolves around the city that's called S City, village-ish. It's called Sleepy Hollow and uh, an awful lot of uh, mysterious things going on. In the movie, it's all about a headless rider, and that is just absolutely gorgeous. So, now then, let's talk to Sylvia Oaks and get a similar-ish kind of mission. The dark mystery surrounding the fall of Nyheart's anchorage has kept hmm. me awake many nights. Yeah, but this is not the main reason why I want to do this. Oh, what do we have here? 150 fibers, so it's again one of those item sync missions. The thing is, what do you want to do? Uh, this is territory standing and uh, stuff like that. You get some coin. But, um, yeah, if you would sell 150 fibers, would you get more coin or less coin, right? So you can kind of compare the rewards from the from the board uh, to the uh, gain you would usually get from, or the profit you would make from the, uh, from the trading post. That's interesting. The only thing you do not get is project points. <laughs> so the time kind of... Um, decays slowly but surely because no one is doing those missions which is really weird right because the focus is about like um player to player transaction and not player to town transaction it's kind of interesting so what, what is a tadpole 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 ah okay where do i find them fisher folk needed to an awful lot interesting um but they can be found i think almost everywhere right it's one of those general missions Explorers need to perch on rivets. Ah, it's a similar one again. Anyhow, uh, we need to know the truth. I know. Sleepy Tallow has always been a place of darkness. For centuries, their purpose there was undoubtedly dark as well. I hesitate to ask, but please go back to Sleepy Tallow and find out how this ended. Interesting. Done the and done. The mystery leads to the town of Sleepy Tallow. It is there and only there that we will find our answers. Hmm. So one wants to know about the mysteries of Sleepy Tallow, and another one wants to know 
about how to use the energy from that place. Pretty interesting. But there's sadly no quicker way of going there. Oh, is it? I mean, I can go... Wait a minute. I have to go north over here, then further north, and then west again in order to go there. The other way would be to use this uh, quick travel option, which I think I'm going to use, and then I'm just going to go south. From there on out, that might be the quickest way. Oh, this teleport is just so cool. Um, oh, look at that. There's another ghost. Right in an area where you would not usually expect them to be. Is that a small one? Yes. So, this is one of those uh, things that we need. And then there, uh, I need another flintstone. If I just follow the road, then I might come across another one. Let's hope so. Yeah, that boulders and flintstones. They're usually right next to each other. Perfect. And then I can make another camp there. So, how far is that? One and two. Yes. This is one of those mission interactions that I wanted to do. I said that I want to finish the missions on their own, but if they are so intertwined, it kind of makes no sense to go there twice. I mean, it's nice and all, but in the end, it's just the same or somewhat similar task that you are doing. And then it's somewhat questionable. Okay. Wait, uh, am I actually going to the... Yes, this is the actual road there. It's just a wee bit weird. Wait a minute, there's also some iron here. Is this outside? Yes. Let's take the iron. I thought it would be like in this mine over here. Damn, daddy. Ooh, aquamarine. Nice one. It just takes ages. Okay, I have to change it so that the harvesting... Har I always say harvesting speed. That the gathering speed of ore gets increased a little bit to change the hatchet. So, uh, what's the hatchet's... Durability goes up. Yeah, but the speed is not going up there. Also, what's my title right now? Da -da 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 -da. No, wait a minute. Uh, the title can be changed in... Uh, character bio. Maybe over here. And play. Yeah. Do I have other titles? And play solo. The Baconator. <laughs> Rabia Expert. Uh, Perry Perry Frost. Doesn't do... Well, it's... The thing is, it says Rapier Expert, but it's just... Can't it just have its own kind of title? That would be neat. Instead of having, like, the word for the weapon followed by whatever stage you are at. And... Wait a minute. I do see a little bit of... Iron up there. Ah. Uh. Alrighty. Ah, we're getting close again. Oh, yes. Let's get this. Also, wait a minute. Yeah, that was stupid. Ugh. See, this was the two attacks at the same time kind of situation. Very interesting. Ah, oh, come on. I just want a light source in this game. That would be so neat. I would even be okay with the Hold Z. Oh, I have to unbind. Then I have to. Wait a minute. There we go. Rebuild the thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. So, no crafting there, though. Bam! What? Turkeys are immune to nature. That would be strange. Like if some animals are just immune to nature damage just because they are nature as well. Or mostly. Did I? No. Hey. Who are you gonna call? Ghostly ectoplasm. So how many do I need? One out of five? And then there's collect go. Yeah, defeat them. Uh, or, and also collect the ectoplasm. So this is one of those combined missions. That's pretty neat. There we go. And another one. 
So is there? There's no stuff down here. Another turkey up there. Those turkeys are everywhere. Yes, they're just introduced into the game because of the whole Thanksgiving situation. Ah. Yeah, come on, just one more hit. There we go. There's also another button there. What does T do if I look at this stuff? Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, they're not attacking. So, oh, view contents. That's neat. Ah, that's interesting. So you can manage it even better. So instead of just collecting all the items, you can select which ones you want to get. Pretty There's a dude running amok. Wait a minute. Uh... I have a maximum like distance there. That's not good. Let's see. Maybe that ha it works. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. All right. Um. Ooh, nice. So, let's see. Wanted to defeat these things. So, nice. <laughs> uh, oh, also another Baconator. How nice is that? Good. Now, onwards. Let's kill some more ghosts. The thing is, I never really know if they're chatting or not. That's the thing. It could be in global. Uh, pseudo. No, this is Thernus. Thernus, Thernus, Thernus. That's the area chat again. There's the help thingy. Recruitment, probably not. It's also not in the faction. Direct messages are just uh, uh, chatting to other people. Let's see. Whatever. What was he doing now? Maybe he's just guy. Alright. Whatever. Uh, we are also interested in those strange wolves. What are they on about? Ooh! Come on. Ah, that takes ages. I do not like fighting those wolves or bulls or whatever. They just take ages to charge their attack. Oh, wait, there's more loot there. Retrieve sailor locked from ebony wolves in Sleepy Tallow. Uh huh. So it's wolves and ghosts that you have to defeat. And another crewman's letter. Wait a minute. Uh, but the letters I basically find on my own beforehand. Alright, come on, switch. Oh, yes. Okay, and it's dead. So. Time to destroy another one of those wolves. By the way, how much mastery do I have on this thing? Uh, life magic, okay. The first quarter ish. Very appear similar levels. Ooh. Okay, so I do tend to get some rare items. Maybe it's level dependent as well. So you unlock higher gear with higher levels. Even if you already have uh, high luck scores or whatever. Just as some kind of safety feature so you don't get all of the good stuff right away. Hmm. What's that going to change? Bonus 5.8. Uh, definitely a bit too heavy, but it does give decent bonuses. Leaping strike. No, this is sword stuff. Uh, constitution strength. Well, both of them I can basically try to sell. Yeah, actually I could try to sell both. Maybe I can get some nice stuff on that. I mean, I'm not the only one who buys things. Come on, get that. And I need two more wolves. Wait a minute, these are just the ghosts. We don't really care that much about the ghosts. We care more about the wolves. Now, where are most of them? Somewhere... Okay. 
They're like dogs trying to secure the premises. Okay, one more hit and that's it. Perfect. So, I just need one more. I see it already. It's right over there. But let's get this soul splinter thingy first. What is this? It's a, sh a sprout. There we go. A bit iffy when it comes to aiming, but right, destroy the first mate claws. I could be the one. Uh, was close the one who got. Yeah, I think this was him. Ah, uh, that is just such a cool area. Too like. Uh. Oh, can you actually use it in order to prevent damage that's happening? A little bit. Hmm. Like, uh, so the damage is happening, you use the evade afterwards, and the damage gets negated. So you don't use it to prevent damage, but to actually counteract this. That would be interesting. And this is... Yeah, this is close. Uh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. I have to be a bit more secure. Safe about that. Wait a minute. I'm slow now. That's not good. It's just an electrified mess. Alright, so we got Claus. Now we can go back. Thank goodness I finished that. Curse of the Ebony Hawk and the Hack of Poison. Ooh, Rapier right of the Scholar and the Musket of the Cavalier. Mm. Are both of them good? Yes, no, maybe. Dexterity Strength? No. Um, I think you don't need this. Oh, Intelligence 14. That's a decent one. It would also benefit the Musket. But yeah, both. Both of them scale with the same values, isn't it? Like dexterity for both and ex uh, intelligence for both. But maybe the primary one is slightly different. Um, nope, the primary one is the same. It's dexterity. And the secondary one is intelligence. Yeah. Rapier and musket. <laughs> that is really interesting. And then there's only one for the bow, which is very interesting. So there is only strength for the axe, for example. Uh, and the warhammer as well. And then there are some other weapons that have like primary and secondary stats too. That's interesting. But when it comes to... No, oh, magical stats are the same. So fire uh, and ice gauntlet are only intelligence scales. Void is kind of a split scalar. Same goes for uh, life stuff. That's also a singular scalar. And then there are some others that have some mixed scalings, which are quite, quite interesting. Anyhow, uh, I can't go back to the city yet, can I? Yeah, 24 or whatnot. So I could try to go south and try to finish these, right? I mean, while I'm at it, uh, I have to get around this. Or I could try to defeat this one again. Why not? Quicker than expected. <laughs> uh, what nice kind of bonuses you get from it. Alrighty. Ooh, what is this? Star metal vein. So star metal can be obtained from this area right up here. Interesting. The better kind ah, there's life all. Looks like this not available for me to harvest, is it? And again, I say harvest. Wait a minute. Ah, there's more. I've all done there too. Alrighty, let's go further down. Uh, I would be able to see this ore vein, wouldn't I? Someone else has taken it from me, not cool. Also the, the other one, oh, thank goodness it's a little bit brighter now. So, now where is it I want to go to the right? 
Ah, oh, there is no such thing as fall damage in this game. Deadly fall damage. Let's be a bit more specific about it. So, uh, yeah, I just need to go south. Oh, wait a minute. I could... Can I get gems from boulders, though? Or is it just um, specific veins that have that? I could just say stone. Oh, that's the guy. Thurnus Haley. Interesting combination. Oh, wait, what's this red stuff? I uh, can't harvest it yet. So, let's see. All of those sprites. What is it? Defeat ancient guardians. Yes. This one over there. Okay, got one. So you need a little bit of... Nah, he's level 30. He can do it on his own, can he? I think he can pretty much do it on his own. The thing is, I'm going to do the faction mission. He's going to do the faction mission. Everybody's doing the faction mission. By the way, what button is the social? Social, social, social. Uh, maybe it was character or something like that? No. Map, company, journal. No, nah, well, it's this one here. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Is he trying to do something here? He's going to void. Interesting. Uh, does he try to chat, though? I should see it in the feed, shouldn't I? Yep, he's trying to type stuff in. I have direct messages, company, army, huh? group, faction, recruitment area. Help as well, but not global. What's he chatting on about? Uh, the guy looks like Liam Neeson. <laughs> uh, uh, sweet. What button is the uh, the one to go even even further down? What, was it Control? No. Uh, was it was it was it this? No. Was it was it B? No. <clears throat> and there he goes again. And he's going all caps. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, wait a minute. I have to check something real quick. Also, I just I just wanted to go down there, uh, but I would have completely forgotten to uh, finish that mission. Another few. Uh -huh. There we go. Backstab. No, backhand. Backstab. Backstab is something different. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna get better and better, but right now I'm just fairly over leveled that's why <laughs> they do the same faction mission here all the time Ooh, nice okay this time the evasion was a bit better the timing was much nicer and I wasn't spamming the button all the time so let's go west a little bit mm -hmm. Alright, onwards. <laughs> Sweepy <Sorry>, stuff. <laughs> oh, so great. I have a very specific set of skills. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Okay, just 
manage to get into this area and all of a sudden leg spikes all over. Not cool. Ooh. Yeah, wait a minute. If I'm just getting immune, I can uh, try to evade forwards all the time. Ah. Alright, and another one. So... Okay, and another one done. Five out of... Why do I have so many next spikes right now? What's going on? What is going on? Is it the environment? Is it something else? But something is producing an awful lot of lag here. Come on, get up there. An awful lot of lag. Come on, go through. There we go. Got it. And another one. So, what else is it that I need to do here? Bright Beacon Regent. So, that was pro. Ah, the items. Yes. An Ancient Essence. What is this? A mod, probably. Uh, arcane Damage. Interesting. But yeah, the Regent is the one down here. Ah, this is so stupid. Why does it flick us around? I mean, I can kind of understand if it flickers um, as a result of some lighting uh, abnormalities in here because of the flames and so on. But this looks more like a glitch. There we go. Was this the regent? I hope so. Yes. And let's get the supply. And also we can just take this dude out. Why not? Oh, we're also moving slower. If I'm doing this. Maybe there's a certain uh, damage decrease if you hold up your shield, but only from a very specific angle. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, how much longer? 15 minutes? Nah. I can try to use the teleporter, but this is just 114 points. It's definitely too much. So I'm gonna... Ah, there's no exit there, damn it. Maybe there's a way to get up there somehow. Just have to figure this out. Yeah, wait a minute. There is. You just have to go walk all the way around it. Uh, then there's also another way. Oh no! Used a bit too early. Dang it! Just button mashing right now. Uh, stupid ass button mashing. Oh, there's also some silver. Yes, 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 yes. same time I could also just heal myself while I'm doing that. Do this, and now I can just get this. Perfect. Or is metalliferous? 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 Some ferrous, which means iron. But metalliferous sounds a bit weird. Sounds a wee bit weird. Wait, there's more silver. Don't know where that is. Uh, it could be hiding uh, up there, probably. Hmm. Ay ay ay. Wait a minute. Is it up there or not? Like I can I can see it, right? It's right there. It might have been stuck inside the terrain. Like someone just tried to paint it in, but it was placed below the rocks and not available for you to uh, to get at, maybe. Hmm. Feels like that. So, let's see how far... Oh. 
Yeah, let's go down over there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, 200. That's something you can take. Oh, look at that. I should have healed us at the same time again. Damn it. So you go from one mining spot to the next, and every time you use the AoE healing or the regeneration spell in between to maximize the downtime a little bit. And there's more iron, yes. There we go. And for some reason I'm maxed out already. That's weird. Come on. There we go. Uh, wait, yeah, this wolf cave usually has silver in it. So let's try to get at that. Yeah, usually. Not this time, though. Not this time, though. Or maybe it was another wolf cave? No. Nah. Yeah, or maybe it was another wolf cave. That, yeah, maybe it was this one. Full moon day. Like, full moon, silver, werewolf, right? Makes more sense. Let's take these at least. So, but... There's this thing. The musk. Do they mean some smelly stuff or do they mean a musket? Hmm. Or maybe with the musk they mean something completely different. Alright, uh, where do I need to go? So, actually, west. Where is west? This is southeast. This is northeast. No, wait a minute. West. <laughs> Why do I want to go west right now? A little bit of mastery points, but not really that necessary. I mean, if I fight against those weak enemies, I can try to at least get a different weapon out. That would benefit from those enemies a bit more, like in relation to the maximum amount of experience on it, at least. I can get one life mastery, for example, uh, but I only need less for the maximum amount. That's why. Like, why do I have that? Uh, like, this one needs... I don't even know how much for the maximum. But, yeah. It's basically... No, wait. It's not level 20. It's, like, times 20. Yeah. The level times 20. And a little bit in experience. Strange behavior of them going in round in a large circle. As if they can't turn around immediately. So weird. It's not just on these enemies, it's basically on any uh, enemy. Like it's on boars, it's on it's on wolves. Uh, this behavior can be found everywhere. It's so weird. I don't want to get the bush. There we go. Dump down. And one A's off. Nah, not this time. Not this time. But I'm fairly overburdened right now. Well, not over, but just burdened. That's the wrong play. Wanted to get this one. Ah, righty. So, now I can also try to get some water from here. That is a good one. The other ones were faction missions, wasn't it? Yeah. So I didn't accidentally finish one of these, did I? Oh yes, some rivets. Let's complete that right now. Uh, again, Sleepy Talo, you got to be kidding me. Why do I get those missions when I don't have to get there a second time? Makes no sense. Anyway, there are, yeah, and some faction stuff. So, yeah, let's do this uh, quickly this time. Like the inventory management is basically stuff that's automatic at the moment. Okay, what am I going to do with that, though? Dexterity strength. strength. Like, this is good. 
Um, the level is 22 though, but uh, uh, I could try to sell it. Uh. So, let's uh, finish this mission with the Vergs. You look rather pale. I would make a joke about seeing ghosts, but of course, it wouldn't be a joke. Tell me, did you uncover the truth of what happened? Hmm, kind of. These pages tell a story. This, this is even worse than what I feared. In desperation, people can truly be capable of unthinkable things. I'm sorry the story had to even come to light. Mm hmm, seems like she was part of that, but that's weird. Hmm. Despite the ugliness of everything we've learned. Okay, and then there's a follow-up one for this as well. well. Let's keep it at that. <laughs> so... Let's see, maybe I can sell some stuff. Um, Zoom weapons. Like, it just says owned, 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 but I don't know where these things are. Like, some of them could be in the inventory, some of them could be somewhere else. Uh, yeah, this is the Warhammer that I found. So let's uh, place a sell order in there. How much is this? Five. Oh. A command transaction charge. 25. Earning per unit is like four point something. And then I have to uh, counteract this with the listing fee in here for four whatnot. Uh, so if I go for like just one day, then this would actually be a bit more of a profit. Mm, but then it would only be available here for like one day and so on. Mm, and the rest is just, yeah, they're just only one. Interesting. Huh. That's just so weird. Okay, so if I uh, would exchange this with an A. Uh, and turn this up to 14 again. Well, it wouldn't change it that far. Uh, I could try to go for 7. Ah, this is 16. What about this one? Also 16, but it's dexterity. Strength. I could try the constitution, but I think people are going more on, uh, on damage instead. Like, you need the clear speed. It doesn't matter how much damage you can take. If you can't clear the enemies quick enough, uh, they're always going to reappear again. And all of your health is basically for naught, right? That, that, that's the problem about a uh, defensive kind of build in here. You don't get that much benefit from it. Because you need clear speed much more than you do need defensive uh, defensiveness. You only need as much defense in order to stay alive and nothing more, right? You need the, mi the, the minimum that's necessary to stay alive. But you do not uh, need any more than that. It's basically... Uh, an additional load uh, that does not give you any benefits, right? Like, if the enemy is doing 1,000 damage, you only need 1,001 health, basically. In simple terms. Hmm. But yeah, wait a minute. This one is level 22, this one is 28, this one is also 28. So maybe this Warhammer here might be... Yeah, might be much better. So let's sell it for, uh, for 10. Oh, that's a bit much. 10 gold. Let's see. Place order. Just because it's more available to the uh, lower levels. What about the rapier? Intelligence 14. Uh, let's, let's sell that one. Um, I think it just remembered its values here. What's this? <laughs> okay, much better. But I can't use this myself. Intelligence 6 here yet again. But yeah, this is basically a good uh, additional weapon for casters and so on. I could go with another 8, I would say. What is the level? 22 again. Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, place the order in here. I would only get free gold for it, right? You place the sell order for rapier uh, of the scholar and so on and so forth. What about the muskets? Dexterity strength? No. Dexterity intelligence? Yes. I kind of want to use this weapon, right? But the problem is it seems very, 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 very slow. What am I going to do with this thing, though? I mean... I'm not going to use it myself, right? So let's just sell it in here. Let's see. What is this one? Uh, 31. Yeah, and because it's uh, more available for the lower levels, I'm going to sell it for 15. Place order, done. Uh, or maybe I can sort it by rarity? Maybe there's more? No, I can't sort it. These are just current ones. One, two, three. It's not even that many. 
But yeah, let's just increase the price here. I mean, it's not that much gold. <laughs> okay, focused excited here. Um, yeah, we can also try to sell this thing. What level is this? Uh, this 13 bonus stats and uh, bonus other thingy. Let's just go for for 10 on this one. So, and the great eggs gets a nice selling treatment as well. But this one had, yeah, look at that. Everybody wants to use a great eggs for some reason. Ah, 21, 21. Like this one would compete with the other rare item over here. But there aren't that many rare items in there. So I can go uh, and use it as another tenor. Like they are going to buy the rare ones. Once these are gone, they're going for the next best option. <laughs> So, let's just keep the price high. If they buy it, they buy it. If they don't, they don't. Uh, but the thing is, the... Yeah, if I put it in there already, then I, I, I can't really do anything with it. That's the issue. That's something that I quite don't like. Like, if you, if you couldn't manage to, to sell it, then you're so screwed. Okay, Kim ji -hoon. Let's finish uh, this part of the mission. Ah. A momentous occasion. You have done well. Very well. We will spread this ectoplasm across the barriers Albert Riches is making. Our settlement will be safe from the corruption. Hmm. Let's hope that they don't turn themselves into some ghosts or so. Alrighty, does that? No. We don't know what kind of bonuses this, this thing gets us. day for all of First Light. Alright, so, yeah, yeah, tell Barkeep Gunter Ross in First Light about how his brew recipe wound up helping the settlement and take the documents from Sleepy Tallow and show them to Magister Bond in First Light. Okay, so both of those missions are basically walk around in First Light and go from one quest giver to the next. Alright, so let's do some inventory management real quick. So it's some silver thingies. Nice. Alright, don't want to make the steel yet. Uh yeah, it's just smelting. Sadly. What else can we smelt though? Uh, just some ore. There's nothing else you can do in there. So, um Good. I need to make a bit more of those. Seven. Oh, why is it so the spear is just there for engineering. Like, that is so cheap. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have any other options in here, do we? Okay, uh, let's go for the maximum. <laughs> yeah, intelligence rapier. That's perfect. Okay, uh, for your cutting and smashing needs, sure. This one gets salvaged. What else we got? Uh, 8, 9, and 9 again. All of them have decent uh, bonuses in there. What is the minimum level? 6. Oh. Decent, decent, decent. So, uh, let's salvage that. And also, what's this? Focus 16. That's a decent one. Damage to the ancients. Yes. Huh. That one, I think I can put in the... Uh... How does that look? Uh change skin the thing is huh, you cannot place another item in here you can only use a skin from the shop <laughs> that's sad okay what am i gonna do with this how much is this 12 but this is a heavy thing and a light option also 12 intelligence focus huh damage to absorption against ancients well it's not about the absorptions Okay, uh, let's just salvage that, and uh, this constitution charges and a little bit of luck, that's perfect. But I am more interested in additional damage and not more survivable abilities. Like, the survival stats only come from the armor rating and not from the rest of it. I mean, we get more health just by leveling up, that's the thing. Mm. There may be a point when it's not as good anymore, but it hasn't occurred yet. So, eBay can just sell both of these. First light patrol is shut. I mean, can you make this? That's the thing. Dexterity strength. Ooh, that's a good hatchet. That is a very good hatchet.
very good hatchet indeed. So, what about the timber stuff? Uh, let's make a few of those. Not even a level, of course. But I did get a little bit of stone, didn't I? Yes. Let's max that. I think I would be much better off cutting those gems into different things. What is this? Eternal Heart. Uh, containing the energy of life and death. This item is used to craft tuning orbs to uh, allow access to expeditions. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it needs death, life, and a soul mode. Fascinating. So how do you make uh, slightly better gems in here? Okay, so you need the... Um, okay, so in order to make cut amber, you need amber. But... Uh, there's also Cartopus. Wasn't there a way to turn them into slightly higher versions of themselves? This is the flawed amber. It's a cut flawed one, yeah. But how do you make it... Ah, uh, yeah, this amber thing here. Yeah, this is not... This one uses the flawed version and turns it into a slightly better one. Yeah, tier 2 into a tier 3... That's the in-betweeny thing. But it does not use a cut flawed amber. So once they are cut, uh, the option of turning them into higher versions of themselves is gone. This one uses... Wait a minute. Uh, brilliant amber. Yeah, this one just uses normal amber. Hmm. So once you cut them, uh, the whole process is not working anymore. Perfect. What about this fishing thing? Engineering, yes. Um, don't want to use the cloth for this, but having better gear and stuff like this available might be helpful. What about this one? Big proficiency booster. Increase the amount of uh, resources gathered with a toll by 5%. Hmm. Nice. Air mode, soul mode. Yeah, come on. I can only make one of these, but okay. Let's just make them. Hope for a level up. <laughs> Level up comes. Perfect. Should have just salvaged the thing. There we go. So, let's place all of the items that I don't want to keep on me in here. Hmm, I mean, the fire stuff is quite nice, but I don't tend to use it. Hmm. Same for that one. Also, this one is just additional ammunition that you... Or additional weight that you have to carry around. And I'm not really a friend of that as well. Good. Oh, this one will... Punch up so much. Okay, let's just throw these out. Throw that out. Throw these out. This one goes... <sighs> There's one reason why I increased the maximum... Storage capacity in here. Oh, wait. Uh, there's also some I other stuff to finish. Respect, you can't just click on it. There's a certain decay there. What's this? You're almost at your faction tokens cap. What? Oh, there's a token cap too. Okay, tokens are kept at 7,500. Alright. So, what am I going to do with this now? Hmm. Syndicate Occultist Seal. Okay. Ah, uh, what is this? Medium chestware. That's 10. That's not good. Ah, uh, what about this one? That's also 10, but at least it has a gem socket. Well, both of them are the same. Hmm. But yeah, there are also no real differences in here. What do we have? We have um, this thing there. What else we got? I'm just looking for some stylish <laughs> items in here. Um, but okay, what about this one? Um, use at the forge and the outfittery station to change the attributes of faction. Um, permanent it will destroy any socketed gems, sure. Uh, change the attribute of syndicate faction Oh. Ooh. Of Syndicate Faction Armor to Dexterity and Constitution. So this one cannot be used on any other armor. It's only uh, working uh, 
on this. That's a wee bit weird. So if you need... Because they're not different versions of it. So there is a um, primary stat on it. Like this one has primary dexterity. This one is primary strength, for example. And this one is primary focus. But you can turn it into another version of it. Mm, but it also says that it destroys the gem socket. Or how does it work? Uh, da -da -da. This process is permanent. It will destroy any socketed gems. Okay, so this one destroys the gems. It does not destroy the gem socket. At least it does not tell you that. But yeah, this is one way of turning the uh, stand-up things into other scalers if you need them. For example, if you need, um, let's say, focus on on here, for example, or intelligence or whatever, to get a more unified scaling, I would need intelligence on... Yeah, I would, I would need intelligence on the fire stuff, for example. Like this one here, yeah. Well, that one does benefit from dexterity. So actually, I can use a hatchet and a rapier. <laughs> uh, one for range damage, the other one not so much for it. But that's just so weird. But this one looks cool. Only problem is it's not as good. So, but yeah, wait a minute. Uh, this one says faction armor? Was it weapons? Uh, yeah, this one says faction armor. Use the fortune outfitting stations to change the attribute of syndicate faction armor to focus on constitution. Hmm. I don't know if it works with weapons as well. It only seems to work with um, armor. I have to test that though. A chisel used to craft tuning orbs which allow access to expeditions. Hmm. That's also a special one. The thing is, all of those items are somewhat meh. Except for maybe the minor rune of holding. That's the only good part about it. But I'm not interested in this. I'm more interested in the slightly better rune of holding, which can be found here. Yeah, major rune of holding. Much more expensive, uh, but I need to get the uh, upgrade mission for it first. Oh, look at this guy. So, what about my inventory? Uh, it's very lightweight with the 18. Nice. What else? Yeah, wait a minute. I wanted to look into the crafting versions. Where do you do this? In the back stuff, don't you? Huh. So, coarse leather, rugged leather. Let's make some coarse leather first. Yeah, let's, let's just put all of that. We don't need the raw versions. Sure. Okay. Better life stuffs. Uh, so annoying that it uses this stuff. And linen as well. Wait a minute. Uh, linen can be crafted over there. Oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> run away there. Where was he? Ah, there. So, do I have, like, emotes or something? No. Probably not. Uh, right. Hi. Okay, uh, area. Hey. So, awesome. <laughs> uh. Faction crossplay, basically. As long as we are not in PvP mode, everything is fine. Uh. Anyway, he's not chatting or doing any uh, other stuff, so let's just go. Alright, with the 
bit of luck. I can make slightly better lid and stuff now. Huh, especially the bags. Yeah. Ten it'll steal it. What? This is only a hundred and it needs steel. No oh, no no no. We're going for uh It always uses up ten, that makes no sense. Hmm. And of course the rune of holding thing. But this is one way of sinking an awful lot of A's off. If you can manage to create these items. Hmm. But again, this is armor crafting. So instead of making those satchels, maybe I can make something else. Something simpler. Something that may not need as much linen altogether. What else we got here? Uh, coarse leather stuff. Coarse leather stuff. Leggings. That's too much linen. Maybe you can try this one here with the satin stuff. Ah, uh, this is... Okay, let's go with the uh, two hats. It's like 12. That's also 12. It's not that much of a benefit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, could I maybe make a f wee bit more linen? No. More satin, yes. But not more linen. What's that? Oh. Something that I need for a mission again. Of course. Two of these are 216. I can just try that and use the satin for that, but uh, kind of a waste. Though, kind of a waste. But I want to level this up at the same time. That's also a valid option, but. Uh, okay, uh, how many can I make? Let's make all of them right now. Yeah, why not? So, let's see. I'm just going to dismantle them once I'm done. Yeah, they only get like seven points or stats in there. That's definitely not enough. All right, so there's a little bit of cloth there too. Okay, I can make two of those for one of these. This one would just be less overall, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's make one of those. Ah, uh, the nice hat. So, salvage, yes. Good. And another one for Ono. Oh, no. Yeah, let's make one of those. Uh, one of the. Yeah, let's go with the hat. That is uh, better when it comes to experience. Alrighty. So, what about my whole trade skill thing? Um, okay, and cooking, engineering, da 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 da. Leatherworking, yeah, working, weaving. <laughs> Leatherworking, for some reason, is just much better. No, wait a minute. Leatherworking is not crafting. Uh, yeah, weapon, no. Armoring, I think. Oh, that's the difference. Okay, so you can increase armoring in the outfitting station and the forge. You can uh, smith weapons in the forge. So this is how you can split this up. You um, use the linen in order to increase armoring. Uh, and then you use the um, uh, the iron um, or the forge, right, to make weapons and increase your weapon smithing traits. That might be the better version of it. Um, yeah, that's armoring. And the engineering stuff you can use in order to make tools or something. Uh, or maybe some items that do not require that much iron to be used all the time. That's the iffy bit. So it does not compete. Then there's jewel crafting, which for some reason I haven't done at all. And then there's of course cooking, which is there to make all of your colors. Wait a minute. This is why it's so important. <laughs> colors. The actual late game. So what about this one? Uh, no. I want to... Yeah, cooking skills 24... Well, it could take a little while. How could I increase... 
the skill in here. Uh, I need something simple. Yeah, something simple like the honey can be used all the time. And let's go for the majority of that. Let's make some sausages. Bam. All of them. Easy mode. Now that's a decent amount of cooking. And what else? You can make some travel rations. Ah, interesting. So I can use like sausages and raw meat. Oh, I could use some berries here. Yeah, that might be the better option. Let's go for travel rations, like all of those. Nice. Just cook it and be happy about it. <laughs> all of the other foods become now available. That's kind of nice. Intelligence food. Wait, wait. What do you get from this? Uh, intelligence 6 and focus 4. Fish with tomato and basil. Uh, intelligence and constitution. It's always a mixture. Intelligence again. And it's to you though. Oh, okay. So you always get bonus of 10 points. Sometimes it's split. Sometimes it's not. Um, but it never is more than that. So this one here is good for the overall scaling. Pretty neat. Venice and Jet, what's this? Focus and strength, interesting. Constitution, oh, trade skills, how does that work? Increases the luck when mining by 1,000 points for 20 minutes. Your health slowly recovers while under these effects. Oh, this is good. Um, when skinning, okay. Okay, this is luck while harvesting. Hmm. The problem is in order to make this, uh, you need very specific ingredients in here that you can only find in uh, specific places uh, or only by luck uh, from those provision canister or containers. That's not cool. Okay, then there are the dyes. Yeah, some brown dyes, some emerald dyes, some other dyes. Pretty, pretty neat. Uh, I'm interested in the green stuff. So it starts off with the not so colorful ones, more natural looking ones. And then it probably goes uh, more and more colorful the further you go down. See that? There's more and more contrast in it, uh, except for when it comes to the greens for some reason. It doesn't seem to be a nice green, except for maybe Viridian green. That's the oh pesto dye. Yeah, let's see. Uh, is there no? It's just green dye. Let's go for green. Can you sort it by yes? Green, 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 green. <laughs> None of it is really green. It's like yeah. All of it is fairly natural, but there are some other colors that are just extremely bright and full of contrast. Like not none of those. Mm, the blues, for example, seem to be pretty decent. Also the orange. And then there's of course the red, but this is not it. Maybe this one. The million dye, whatever that is. What kind of color is the million? Let's call it red. <laughs> it's a version of red. And this one is orange. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Someone thinks of this as orange. Hmm. It's orange for colorblind people. So. Anyway, got a lot of that. And let's place all of the items in the shelter. Oh, also get maybe a little bit of water. That's important. Anyway, I dragged out the episode as usual, but this time we ended it a little bit beforehand, which is also quite nice. So, oh, look at that. A hundred units. And this is a lot. All right. We're definitely stocked up well. So, and the next one, uh, as usual, starts with Kim Ji Hoon and uh, this one over there. Both of them can be finished in the city, so let's do this. But yeah, not now, but wait. Uh, nope, there are no other missions yet. Anyway, as I said, let's not finish them now. Let's finish them in the next episode. Till then, like and subscribe as usual. Ta-ta! Hmm. And I also got myself, what? Perform 100 emotes. <laughs> That's cool. The pet tummy mist.
Pentomimus? Pen pe Pentomimus. I call it Pentomimus. Sounds cool. <laughs> anyway, ta-ta.